Hi, this is Bill Prankard, and I've got a word for you. I believe this is your season. I believe 2016 is the best year ever. In the Jewish calendar, as you probably know, it is the year of jubilee, a year of restoration, a year of that which you've lost and has been taken coming back to you. But I want to speak over your life today that this is your summer of miracles. Now, you know, some of you say, oh, yeah, great, here we go again. Well, we started declaring that summer was going to be a summer of miracles years ago. I think back in the 1970s, I declared that. And uh, I said, you know, this is going to be the greatest summer ever in the ministry and for people that were partnering with us that, you know, financially, spiritually, miracle-wise, everything. We're just going to see increase. Several days after that, the mail went on strike. And in those days, we were on television right across the nation, and people would send money in the mail. There was no internet then and none of the other stuff. And so you couldn't, you know, so they, they mailed uh, checks and money orders and sometimes cash, and the mail went on strike. And I was told you shouldn't have said that. You really shouldn't have said that because it can't be a summer of miracles. I mean, we'd be lucky to survive um, because the bills would keep going. And but people would have no way of getting money to us. And so a few nights after that, I woke up in the middle of the night and I had this terrible thought. I mean, it was fear gripping me. You know, this is going to be the worst summer of ever. You're probably not going to survive. Your ministry is going to go under. You're going under. And I knew that was not God. And I got right up in the middle of the bedroom and I said, devil, you're a liar. God says this is the summer of miracles. And let me tell you what came to me was the children of Israel several million of them out in the wilderness without any source of water, any source of food, any source of clothing. And the Bible said they have fresh water every day coming out of the rock, that fresh manna delivered to their tents every day. Their clothes didn't wear out, their shoes didn't wear out, and they walked in health. And I thought if God could take care of them when there was no natural source, then he can take care of us. I mean, the post office is in our source, people are in our source, Government's not our source. And so I said, devil, if you've got the nerve of coming back next week, this time, you'll find we're doing better. Next month, we'll be doing better. And at the end of the summer, if you dare come back, you'll find this was the greatest summer of ever. Do you know what? We went into a real supernatural realm. People drove, some of them drove hours to get to our office in Ottawa to, to bring an offering. The income went up. It was amazing. Every week it was phenomenal. We saw so many people healed, so many people saved, a whole new level. At the end of the summer, they announced the, the post office going back to work, and I was disappointed. <laughs> and then now we have to go back to natural again. But um, I'm here to tell you that we, we the next year we said this is going to be a summer of miracles, and it was. And it was. And the next year. And the next year. And and this year, we started celebrating the Summer of Miracles a month or two ago. And, and we've been living in this thing. I just think 2016 is going to be a whole summer of miracles. So I wanted to speak it over your life today. And no matter what you're facing, what's in the natural, this is your summer of miracles. I want you to agree with me. Start speaking it out. Every morning we get up, thank you, Lord, for my summer of miracles. This is your breakthrough season, increase, blessing. And I, by faith, lay hands on you and declare that this season will be the best season you've ever had, a season of increase, blessing, breakthrough, and favor that is so unfair. In Jesus' name, you start speaking it out because our words are life. This is my summer of miracles. God bless you.